All right. I said I was going to come on. I don't remember why I said I was going to come on, to be honest. I just said I... I was like, why, why did I say I was coming back on? Because we finished the listening party. But, uh... I So I didn't realize that you can upload... You can upload the song, like your Instagram lives, onto your f your feed now. I had no idea. So... It didn't give me like a save option. It just said like save on your feed. So that's what I did. So <laughs> I guess it's there permanently if you want to <laughs> watch it. Uh, but yeah, that was fun, y'all. That was that was a lot of fun. Uh, I guess I can look at there if there's any questions here. What's your what's your proudest song you've ever written? My proudest song, like the song I'm most proud of writing, is. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's like saying, because you look at them and they're like your kids. You create them, you give life to them, and they, uh, you watch how they grow. Sometimes you don't think they're anything. I don't know. I don't think that's how it works with kids, but sometimes it's like, ah, you know, it's, it's not like that's anything special. But then it's like, whoa, actually, it, like that song grew on me, and I'm, I'm happy about it. One of the songs that I was actually just looking at the other day. Well, actually, I have to say I do, I am very happy. I was very happy with how Paralyzed came out. This is, I released this song last year. I hold on and I should let go. I wait the thing when I really know I was talking about Isabeau. I wrote that with Isabeau and Nate Dodge, which I wrote this song with them as well that I just released last week. Isabeau and Nate Dodge once again, just breathe. And someone that said, Up All Night, that was actually the song I was about to say. Still in a piece, I'm strong. I don't know if I can cross her. So that's the Isabel and Nate Dodge train. And then I wrote also with Isabel that I was really happy with was Up All Night. Anyway, someone said, did you just wake up? No, this is just how I always look in quarantine. <laughs> but this is another song I'm so happy with. I wrote with Isabel and Sean. Sean Balin, Isabel and Sean are actually married. I was happy with this song. I am knocking, standing at your door. Up all night. I've never been but we're going to save that for when we have a listening party with, uh, we have another listening party for Postcards in the Sky. How do y'all think about that? Um, yeah. What's your favorite song to perform? Oh, another song I'm like I feel a lot of pride in. I was gonna say was, uh, where is it? This one. I love this because I feel like this one was. It's like I got to write with God. Heavenly Father, I am grateful for your return. I am learning to be patient and that I love this song. This is probably my one of my favorite ones to perform as well. Now, did y'all know that I wrote I recorded this in Spanish last year? Actually, I recorded it the year before in Spanish, but for some reason they didn't want me to release it. So I released it last year. But anyway, <laughs> infinita aprendiendo a ser paciente so I translated this in Spanish but I was like it could be a little bit better so I sent it to my my mi tía reina who who translates a bunch of stuff for me that hasn't ever gotten released <laughs> she did 
Um, she did some of the songs on um, Navidad, my EP Navidad. Like En Sombrío Invierno. I think she translated for me because it wasn't in Spanish. That's my Tia Reina. So, mi pequeña oración. So, if y'all didn't know I, I, that this song is in Spanish, it's in Spanish. Speaking of Spanish, also just this last Christmas, because uh, I, I released Mi Pequeña Oración, my little prayer in Spanish. Um, what was I saying? I was talking about my little prayer in Spanish. Well, anyway, it came out last Christmas, and I also got to do a duet with one of my favorite people. No. My buddy Danny Goki in Spanish for his al his Christmas album. We sing we sang Noche de Paz. Man, y'all, if y'all don't know Danny Goki's music, you've got to listen to it. He's he's one it's so funny, like he's one of my good friends, but he's one of my favorite singers. Like some of my favorite music is Danny Goki's. And his voice, his 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 white his he's his voice is amazing. He's amazing. His wife is amazing. His family is amazing. I just love them. They're so fun. I love just going over and just ch chatting with them, getting advice about life. They have a lot of great advice about life. But anyway, this was Danny. Danny, let's do another song, please, because I just, I don't know. I just love you, my man. <laughs> I think it's funny when you're talking to like a guy. Sometimes it's like to make it because it's a guy you have to say I love you, my man, or love you, bro. Instead of just saying I love you, I love you, Danny. There you go. So I sang the first. He sang the first verse. I sang the second verse. Y'all, I'm so happy that Danny and I did this. And then we filmed the video. So if you want to see the video. His wife, oh my gosh, Leia said. If y'all haven't seen Danny's wife, Leia Set, she's, she's hilarious. She's so funny. Go check her out. I think, I never know how to spell her name. L-E-Y-I-S-E-T, -E I think is how you spell it. Leia, Leia Set. If I'm not spelling it right, I'm sorry. Y'all are wondering where this is. It's on Danny Goki's The Greatest Gift, A Christmas Collection. It's at the end. So the English version, Carrie Job sang, and then he asked me to sing the Spanish version.
Oh. I'm so that was such an honor for me to do. I just loved I love Danny. Okay. Oh, let's go with the theme. What's your fave Danny Go Danny Goki song? Y'all, I have too many. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go off on Danny here. Let's talk about this Danny Goki song. This is like a second to last single. Have you been praying? And you still have no answers. Have you been pouring out your heart for so many years? Have you been hoping? Hmm. Yeah. I just haven't seen it yet. Oh, I see. I can't wait for Cara, Cara, Cabarato. Oh my. Oh, I think I mispronounced Cabarato. Oh. Yes. Waiting on the other side of the darkest night. Don't ever lose hope. Hold on and believe. Maybe you just haven't seen it. Just haven't seen it yet. You're closer than you think you are. Only moments from the break of dawn. All is promised. This is another good one. This is also on his last album, Wanted. Man, I know there's too many. I've got to go through. But you could see me through the pain. See what I've got. I got every tear is there falling. When you lost your heart that day. Yeah, you lost your heart that day. The song's so good. Wanted. Danny Goki. Let me see. Let's get to the chorus. Here we go. If you could see it through my eyes, you know that you are wanted. You know that you are wanted. And if you let my love inside, you know that you're wanted. I'll show you that you're wanted. So good. Here's another good Danny Goki song. Oh, 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 oh. I've been running through rain that I thought would never end. Okay, let's go to the next question. I'm gonna get lost on Danny Goki. This is it's kind of fun. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a. I'm a. Is it freezing? I'm a Capricorn. Don't ask me what that means, but that's my zodiac sign. There's a light I still see it. There's a hand still holding me. Even when I don't believe it, I want to do it. Okay, my favorite color is green. Green. Is it, is it glitching for y'all? Red in the tears and the pain will fall behind. You open up your eyes and... Here's another good one. These are probably my three favorites of Danny Goki. I'm oh, actually, I played four, but anyway. Hi from Trinidad. Hi, Trinidad. Do I like any lo love songs? Yes, I do. Of you. Oh, someone asked, what's your favorite Jonathan McReynolds song from People? Oh my goodness. I do love Situation. Where was I a missionary? I was a missionary in Chile. You can't deny. I love this part. I made you for more, unlock the door I 
Is that, oh, is that Kimberly who gave it to me? I didn't even see it though. Thank you, Kimberly, for the Flareon plushie. Call of your creator, I made you more, unlock the door. Eggs, I love eggs. Japan, hello Indonesia. Cuando vienes a Honduras? That's a good question. No, te, no tengo ningunos planes por ahora, pero espero que pueda volver pronto a Honduras. Who's my favorite person I've ever toured with? Man, that's a hard question. I, To be honest, I haven't toured with a lot of people, but someone mentioned that they saw me in the UK when I was on tour with McFly. McFly is awesome. I, Because I like their music, but what was really cool about them is I was super shy. I was super... Um, I wasn't good at talking to people, so if people didn't come and talk to me, I never got to know them. I never became friends with them. McFly, especially Danny and Tom, they just made me feel, they made me feel like, I don't know, they just made me feel really at ease. They would come and talk to me, tour with Demi Lovato. That was a fun tour to do as well. That's awesome if you went there, Carrie Coco, to come see the tour with Demi. I'm just gonna keep jamming to Danny Goki. I don't know all the lyrics to this one, but I do like it. Love God and love people. I like this one too by Tell Somebody, Danny Goki. What made you become a singer? So I became a singer because, so my, my parents are both musical. My dad played trumpet and he was into musicals. My mom sang as well. And so we're moving from Florida to Utah. And to keep us busy, he put on Les Miserables, the 10th anniversary PBS special. And I just kept watching it over and over. I was like six or seven years old. I was... Yeah, so that's how I started singing. What song is your jam at the moment? I mean, right now, we're jamming to... Tell somebody about Jesus. Uh, 
How was the experience of showing up in iCarly? It was super fun. That was that was like one of the most fun experiences I've gotten is being on iCarly. Here comes Mandisa, y'all. Amen. All right. Okay, hold up. Somebody just asked me if, if I still play Zelda. Y'all, that's... Breath of the Wild has been my jam. I've been playing this like crazy. And tell somebody about Jesus. There we go. Making sure I don't show anything. <laughs> like my private okay, number or number, name or whatever. I have been playing Animal Crossing, but I'm more into Breath of the Wild, y'all. Three main ones that I've been playing. All right. Let's see the next question. Listening to Danny Goki. This is Danny Goki. We're listening. Am I an extrovert or an introvert? I thought that I, you know, we all have a little bit. I'm definitely way more introverted. I found that out when I realized I do really well without needing to socialize during quarantine. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be lonely. What happens if I like? I don't know, I, I was worried about being alone and I know a lot of people have been lonely during this time. I live, I live by myself. Man, I've been thriving. <laughs> Somebody tell All-time favorite musical? Ah, oh, man, I'd probably say Les Miserables. Les Miserables is really good. Let's let's play one more of a. Uh... Yes, introverts. <laughs> I I really like being alone, y'all. That's that's why relationships are hard for me. I really like being alone. My favorite scripture verse. I love um, Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 in the Old Testament. I do love that. And then I do, and then for... Uh, And then uh, New Testament, I love John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Not to condemn the world, but to... You make it a masterpiece. And then, y'all, since y'all know I'm in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, one of my favorite scriptures in the Book of Mormon is Ether chapter 12, verse 27, where says the Lord says if men come unto me I will show unto them their weakness I give unto men weakness that they may be humble and my grace is sufficient and if men humble themselves before me and have faith in me then will I make weak things become strong 
And it reminds me of uh, Paul when I think he's talking in Corinthians. Is it Corinthians as well? Where he says, Wherefore in my weakness I'm made strong. So those are some of my favorite verses. Beautiful, black and blue. Favorite Disney movie. See past this. Will you see me now? Okay. Favorite Disney movie. My favorite Disney movie is uh, Finding Nemo. He's in your head. Someone asked, someone, I just saw someone ask if I consider myself Christian. Oh, you betcha. Someone painted this for me and I, I, I still keep it. Y'all, I definitely consider myself Christian. That's why John 3.16 is one of my favorite verses. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. I believe in Christ. He is my king. A lot of people don't know. They think that I'm not because they know my church for um, the nickname that a lot of people give us, which is Mormons. And so then a lot of people assume when they hear Mormons, they think of like a lot of wives and stuff. Which we don't do. But I guess from... So, it's the church. It's not the Mormon church. Though that's how people... It's like the nickname because of the Book of Mormon. But it's not the, it's not the Mormon church. It's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So, so, I definitely... I believe in Christ with all my heart. He is my foundation. He's my salvation. He is my joy. He is my song. That's the reason why I live my life. And I'm a member. And so, uh, someone asked, what's my favorite studio, Ghibli? I think, do you like Ghibli movies? What's your favorite? Y'all. I love me. Okay, that's something I've been enjoying while I've been on um, quarantine. I watched Kiki's delivery service just the other day. Someone gave it to me for my birthday. Thank you, Blaylocks. Um, uh, but I would have to say my favorite movie of Ghibli, Ghibli, I don't know how to say it, Ghibli, 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 <laughs> is Spirited Away. Woo! Spirited Away is so good. Just like this Danny Goki song right here. Oh, The Shack. That movie is so good. My favorite Chilean, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes a comeback. ¿Te, ¿Te acuerdas de hablar español? Claro que sí. I'm... Pues, aquí estamos. Seguimos hablando en español. Aunque sea imperfecto mi español. This is your time, your My favorite TV show lately has been Hunter x Hunter. Oh, oh, oh. Let's listen to some. Sing it, Danny. Danny Goki, y'all, the comeback. 
Okay, here we go. Y'all ask my favorite uh, show. That is my the theme song to my favorite show, Hunter and Hunter. <laughs> I did memorize it. Yes. All right. <clears throat> let's get, let's how about we answer a couple more questions and then I've got to get going. Uh, let's see here. Were you ever nervous about your American Idol audition? Yes. Uh, or how do they say it? Um, your energy is just so high. Okay, hold back, hold up there. My energy is up for the hour that I'm on this live, and then it is gone after this. My energy is high when the theme song of Hunter x Hunter comes on, but that is it. I I am known for not being an energetic person. Though it comes across that way because when you're on, when you put yourself on like camera, you just turn yourself on. It's like practice. Oh, someone asked about Boku no Hero Academia. Uh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Let me show you. I don't have that one memorized. Just to give you a glimpse, this is the hoodie that my friend, my buddy Zach, gifted to me for my birthday. I've, if, if you've seen Boku no Hero Academia, that's, then you'll know what that is, UA High School. <sighs> All right, so um, going back to, uh, were you ever nervous about your American Idol audition? So, yes. I was nervous because I I had a hard time with cam uh, cameras. I had a hard time with thinking if I could actually do it. Oh, Hunter Hunter, you're right. I just say Hunter x Hunter so that people who don't know know what I'm talking about. Hunter Hunter. Uh, Demon Slayer is another one I love. I do love Demon Slayer as well. Sorry, we're getting to anime here. But, uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I got nervous. But it was, sometimes I look back and it was just like such a blur. Oh, let's go with this one. How did you like start, how did you start liking anime? I started liking anime because my sisters are obsessed with anime. I'm not obsessed with anime, but my sisters have gotten me hooked on those three animes. My Hero Academia, Hunter, 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 X Hunter, but it's like someone said, it's Hunter, Hunter. And, uh, what was the other one I was saying? Demon's, oh yeah, Pokemon is the reason why my family got into anime, which I think is like a lot of the world. Uh, someone said, when you didn't win, I throw a water bottle at the TV. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's funny. Okay, let's see. 
I was going to take one more question and then we're going to get going here, y'all. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll take a couple more. Is that sleeping at last behind you? Yes. A fan was kind enough to gift me this. So I don't know if y'all have heard about the Enneagram, but sleeping at last, who's amazing. He does all these concepts, concepts and themes. He had four songs called North, South, East, West. He had song, a project. Well, it's all called Atlas. But he had a song for each planet as well, which is so beautiful. That's how I. That's when I first heard his music because one of his one of his most well known songs is called Saturn, and I, I love that. I also love, I think it's Neptune as well that I really like. I get Nep, Neptune and Uranus. Conf, I always get those planets confused, even with his songs. But um, really beautiful. Uh, and uh, so anyway, on the Enneagram, it's this, it's like this behavioral, it's like to help you to, to find, it's like, it's kind of like a personality test and it helps you understand why you function the way you do. And there are nine numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And oh, how about manga? Do you read manga? I've only read one manga. I've, I've tried to read a couple of others, but I just... I can't focus when I'm reading, but um, there's a manga called Animal Land. I think it's called Animal Land that I've read a bit. But um, anyway, Enneagram. So there are numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're asking which one I'm in. So my 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 number that I'm a primary is of six, six with a five wing, because these are I see that y'all know what wings are. So I'm a six with a five wing. And I also get a lot of, uh, like a tri-type is six and a four and a nine. But that's if y'all know what tri-types are. Anyway, that's my tri-type. Six, four, nine. So every time you get, I do the Enneagram test, I get a different number. You know what? You get, it's not really about getting a, it's not about what you get on the test so much a test can help you know what you where you have a lot of traits in but where you really find out what you are is when you get down to why do you behave the way you do what's your basic desire what motivates you to act the way you do or to react the way that you do to situations in your life so i'm starting to lose my voice because i've been singing too much this is what happens i my voice gets down like this um on 16 personalities, my 16 personalities, I'm an INFP. So, anyway. Are you, oh, oh, okay now. Y'all are getting deep here with Enneagram. Are you a counterphobic six or a phobic six? I'm definitely, definitely a phobic six. So, counterphobic six is in the Enneagram. So, Enneagrams, they're six. The six has two types of a six. I mean, they're like two main types in a six. There's a counterphobic six and a phobic six. Both of the sixes are based in fear. They're both um, like their desire is to feel safe and have guidance. And you can be careful with your voice. Y'all, this happens to me all the time. Mm -hmm. After every show that I do, after every time I'm singing, this just happens. It's just how my voice is. It probably, I think it has something to do with my paralyzed vocal cord. When my one vocal cord that works gets tired, this is what it happens. This is actually what I sounded like. My voice was all like this when, when before I started doing voice therapy. So when I started doing voice therapy, my voice started coming together. So when I, when I speak higher, it, you know, it's easier for the vocal cords to come together, but when I'm relaxed, this is how it is. But it's fine. My voice isn't mess, isn't ruined or anything. It's just how my voice functions. So anyway, um, Enneagram six. So they're they're basic. They're kind of anxious types. Counterphobic six works through their fear. They kind of like it. Kind of looks like they're like mm. they'll they push through the fear. Like instead of like fear shying away from the fear, they like combat the fear on a way. Like they face it and like will do scary things even though they feel 
that fear. Phobic sixes are very <laughs> cautious. They're very like, I don't know. They're, it's very obvious that they're afraid or nervous or anxious about things. Um, I mean, uh, the counterphobic sixes still do, but it's not as apparent. Anyway, that's, I don't know if I'm making sense with that. Digimon, digital monsters. Okay. We'll take one last question. I'm trying to look at there's sometimes you get really random questions that I don't know if they make the best. Ooh, this is a good one. Are you Gryffindor or Slytherin? What do you think? Some of y'all probably I've mentioned this before. Any guesses on what is my Hogwarts house? Um, then we'll end on this, y'all. And in the meantime, we can play. Oh, I never finished about Sleeping At Last. So Sleeping At Last, he did, and just like he did the planets and the, and the compass, north, south, east, west, he did the Enneagram, each song. And... Um, since I'm a six, he, he let me um, send some of my sounds. So this is what's funny. Everybody is guessing I'm a Hufflepuff. And I guess I come across like that. Like when I'm, like I said, when I'm on the camera, I get on. It's just like I've been conditioned to, you know. I've taken the test twice. One time a few years ago, and then I took it again recently because a lot of fans asked. Both times I got a raven claw. Don't ask me why. I'm sure I have a lot of, I'm sure I would get a lot of Hufflepuff in me, but the two times I've taken it, I've gotten a raven claw. So there you go. Um, that's the house I've been sorted into when I took it on. What was then Pottermore, or I guess it's Wizarding World now. And then I took it on another website that was more in-depth, and I still got Ravenclaw. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there, there you go. All right, y'all, thank you for joining me and uh, for this Q&A, listening to Danny Goki and to Hunta Hunta departure um y'all have a good day we'll do this again um of the listening party i'll i'll pick another album that we can listen to and we'll listen to that leading up to when we will eventually listen to therapy sessions the new album but take care y'all god bless have a good day